I have two Clash of Clans noobs who will battle whoa, 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 for- hold up. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm in Bronze 3. I am definitely a noob. I mean, the purpose of the video is to teach you. I have three challenges <laughs> with specific learning points. They are sure to give us some laughs, and whoever does the best in these challenges will have an advantage in the 1v1. We're gonna 1v1 you or 1v1 each other? <laughs> you are gonna 1v1 each other, and to make this interesting, I will personally Personally, give $1,000 to the winner. I haven't done a war attack in seven years. Sneaky goblins might help you. Just a bit of a foreshadow there. I haven't played in seven years, really, except for one video on Judo Sloth's channel. Before I throw up the first challenge, let's talk about today's video sponsor. Thank you to Samsung. We are all playing on Samsung devices. I am on the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 5, which I know you guys have been using as well. It's so big. I love the 7.6 inch display. A tablet that comes out of your pocket. I like that you can just leave it folded, do regular things like, you know, text friends, if you have friends. And then when you're ready to game, I'll open it up and it gets serious. Have you tried loading up YouTube on the bottom in order to follow along with a video or something? Like on my challenge levels, OJ, did you try that? Um. I, I never watch your videos for your challenges. Oh. What are you talking about? Uh, sometimes there's only one way to beat a challenge level, though, you know? Like yeah, exactly. And they're like, you can't beat Judo Sloth. When I do want to watch YouTube, then I will unfold it like this, and I can just sit on my desk and play it right there. It's fantastic. The dual app capabilities are fantastic, and we will be using this. We also have the Samsung Tab S9 Plus. Yes, I'll be filming on this video. This will be fantastic. I love this device. The screen is absolutely beautiful. Plus, it comes with the S Pen and you can charge it both directions. We'll be using these in the Galaxy Battles Superverse event where all three Supercell games come together. That's going to be exciting, but we're going to have to try and take you guys down. Yeah, well, good luck. What? I thought I was the clear winner. Qualifiers for Clash of Clans is August 26th. I will actually be live with that on my Twitch channel. I'll pop the link in the description for you guys. But you can register for Brawl Stars and Clash Royale still to try and qualify into the Superverse event. Grand Finals are September the 30th, $100,000. All of the links for Galaxy Battle Superverse are in the description, as well as links to purchase these devices. Thanks again to Samsung for sponsoring this video. First challenge. Now, I did add if you wanted to select three videos to watch from my channel. Kairos, yes. did you choose three? And I what were did. They? Wait, there was homework? Three years ago, you posted a video testing the sneaky goblin. I also watched top five best Town Hall 11 attack strategies and then world I... record for Town Hall 2 in Masters League. And OJ, you didn't watch any. Why was there homework? I will say the reason I did that was to troll you a little bit here. Are but you I can't kidding believe me? You picked the sneaky goblin for the video you actually watched. I need you to train up one sneaky goblin, and then you can take 11 invisibility spells. I am... I don't know how this works. How do I make them? Uh, okay, so if you press your... <laughs> you said Clash of Clans noob. Here we go, baby. <laughs> You can attack when you're ready. Can go I to, scout? Go to attack, I, and I'll tell you what attack. to do. You can scout if you wish. Oh. Oh. So you are going to drop the sneaky goblin where the arrow is, and your goal is to take down all of the buildings. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Attack! Only the sneaky goblin and the invisibility spells, obviously. This first one is a test, so I'm expecting you to maybe okay. fail here, and then I'll teach you what to do. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> is it my turn? After you do this one, OJ, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then we will have the actual challenge. No, no, no. Okay, I'm putting down the sneaky goblin. It's sneaky for five seconds, and then <laughs> invisibility spells sneaky for three seconds. Well, you still He's got hit by the bombs. <laughs> He's invisible. He's not invincible. He died. I think <laughs> I did more damage than you. No, you didn't. You did not get 40%. Yeah, how did I not? <laughs> I'm the greatest! Because you went invisibility. You made the gold mine invisible. What point is using a spell that makes the gold mine invisible? Kairos is actually doing what you need to do. Are you kidding me? What took out your goblin? The, the bombs. bombs. Even when it's invisible, we'll still be hit by the bombs. Yeah. So you have to turn buildings invisible in order to direct the goblin away from the bombs. Yeah, but we didn't know where the bombs were. That's the aim of the challenge. 
There's no way you're going to be able to do this unless you know where the bombs are. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> challenge oh, wow. is rigged. This is to teach you that you can use invisibility spells to redirect troops to other areas of the base. Okay. If your archer queen is walking in the wrong direction, you might be able to turn buildings invisible to force her in a different direction. Obviously, we're doing it here with the goblin. So, first person to beat it takes the point for the challenge. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. These are actually insane insane challenges that really teach you. I never knew to redirect the queen like that. Yep. And this was designed by Carbon Finn. I have to give him a big shout out. He helped yeah. in designing these. He's actually done them in the game as an event challenge before. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kairos, you were very close to a bit of a solution there. So you have to drop the spell before. Yes. So this is Oji's turn. Every five or 10 minutes, I will give you a clue. Okay. I mean, okay, okay, nice thinking there. This is on the dev build that we're recording this. So that is how we're able to do this and have such a fun challenge for everybody. Okay, <laughs> challenge is up, Kairos, good luck. Oh, I was not expecting to go over there. That's not good. Okay, would you like a clue already? Yeah. No. no, no, no clue, no <laughs> clue, here we go. You'll slowly start building up. Like once you figure out how to avoid that first small bomb, then you'll know exactly, you know, what to do to replicate that. So you were close in your thinking to redirect it to the other one, but trigger it in passing. I guess that's a clue. That wasn't going to be the first uh. clue, but I, I guess it's a clue. <laughs> yeah, see how he didn't get hit, right? Is there something you did differently? The goblin just passed that way. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Well, you're on 59%. I don't know. He's going to go to that one building last, and that's where all the big bombs are. That's where the big bomb is. <laughs> wow. Pretty good. No! After this attack, OJ, I will show you. It's not the only first move, but I will show you what I think the first move should be. Can I redo that? Of course I let him have another try. I didn't even have to give them any opening moves. They kept getting better and better. They both did Why really did well that on this challenge and it dumb. didn't take long before this happened. Doesn't matter how many stars and how many percentages you get, it's who gets the first three star. Nice. Exactly. You've got the timing of that first one down. What? Nice. That was nice. so He's good. <laughs> Super clean. That was so good. That was you have no right getting that one right. <laughs> yeah, remember there's that area with the three bombs. So you have to get to the gold mine with the three bombs from the other side. This is really good. I might know how to queen walk after this. This could be the <laughs> most fun I've ever played Clash of Clans. I came here expecting to yell at Kairos. But we're actually <laughs> learning so much. Always take an invisibility spell, OJ, because you can use it, especially on your royal champion, but you can use it to redirect, like I said, the queen or anything. It's just such a flexible spell. Dude, I think he's got Almost it. Almost flawless. I think oh. he literally just hit the one bomb. <laughs> I could have avoided it, but I know that he was at full health, so I could take it. I literally took a picture on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and marked where all the bombs were to try and avoid them, <laughs> and I still lost. <laughs> all right, one, one point to OJ. Second challenge. We are now Town Hall 12s here on the developer build, and I am throwing up a base that I want you to have your own army for. I can help you if you wish. Little do they know this is a troll base, and that is the purpose of this challenge. So we get two attempts, right? Two attempts. Because OJ won the first challenge, he can choose if he wants to go first or if Kairos has to attack. Oh, first. heavens no. Why would I go first? Is there any advantage <laughs> to going first? He can scout for me. So Kairos, before you go in, this challenge is meant to teach you not to send all of your troops too quickly and to panic. I'm already panicking. Oh, you're going on the town hall side? Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have put CC troops in there. Maybe that's a little bit too trolly. <laughs> Rocket I don't know what's happening, well. dude. I'm, gonna crush you. I'm doing exactly what you told me not to do. I feel like Go Wipe was a 2012. He did actually get the time. He's going to get a two star. Use your rage spells. Use your rage. Wow. Oh, there's a Tesla there. Okay. I love this intel. 55% Kairos. I'm, I'm impressed, my friend. Nice job. Interesting to go with A for this one. Oh, yeah. Is he going to do... Oh, okay. oh! Everything down, baby! If you swap to the battle blimp... Oh, you could have made it all the way to the town hall. This is risky for I'm the town hall, I'm not going for a battle blimp. Oh, how are you going to get the town hall? 
I don't need the town hall if I'm going to three star it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but okay. <laughs> I only know electro dragons. This is unfamiliar territory to me and I don't like it. Why didn't you use electro dragons then? Wait, you can use electro dragons? <laughs> then you unlocked the town hall 12, OJ, yes. Oh, this is farm mode. I'm going for everything but the town hall. I'm just getting all the resources. Wait for the next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I got a higher percentage. You, you know, did so get a higher percentage. First. I'm still winning though. You could take some sneaky goblins in order to pick off the storages. That would help you to take the town hall down. And then you could just go for percentage at the other side of the base. Here we go. 18 sneaky goblins. Let's see if we can do it. So remember, be cautious. Maybe use the wall breakers to set off the traps the way you did to give you more sneaky goblins. And I would even use a rage for them, to be honest, Kairos, because you do not want to miss the town hall with the sneaky goblins. That's the whole point in using them. Two rage spells, you might need those. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. I dropped two rage spells. That's okay. It's okay. We got it. So the idea of this is to just not get you to worry about blasting everything to the town hall. Because people can lose out on these troll bases pretty bad. You're good. You're good. You're good. Come on, Super Dragon. I would start using your freeze on the two expo, though, in the middle there. Just save your pecker. Good. Those sneaky goblins you can use on the collectors on the outside to get more percentage. This is great, Kairos. Nice job. 60% two star. Oh, dear. Okay. 69% two stars, baby. My brain is like fried right now, but that was good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So Jay's turn. He's in. He's got his electro dragons. He has his sneaky goblins for that town hall. I made a boo boo. Okay. And sneaky got You still got enough. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to take it. Troll base might succeed. Oh, you have to. You might have to full send it on the town hall. Oh, oh. Oh, they're going for yeah, it? No, we're good now. You got nice, it, Baker! Nice, he got it! Oh, and then the Electro Dragon's up at the top. Ooh, that's not good. Can he three-star? You think he's going to be able to three-star? No, I don't think so. He's got single infernos. He's got the air defense. I that. forgot I brought balloons. I'm dumb. The question is, can he get more than 69%? I, I don't know. That's the question. Ooh, it's interesting. I would honestly, OJ, nice. I was just about to say, I would a lightning spell some of those air defense. That is your only shot. I done oh, good. I'm up. sorry, Kairos. Great there's thing there's no over. way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's beat me. He's beat me. <laughs> Bro, this would have been 100 if I put in the balloons properly. The base for the third challenge is up. I will explain the rules, but it all comes down to the 1v1 at the end. So, OJ, you are chilling for this challenge. Okay, so this one, you have to try and get as close to a 90. 99% one star as possible. What? If you look to where the town hall is and the defenses around them, I have set up the base where you can clear those defenses a little bit easier using certain troops and then push from the other side. Kyra, so you still gonna use go wipe no matter what? Probably. If you could send rocket balloons to pick those off, and then you could just use a couple of minions to clean up behind. I'm giving too much away. You want balloons? Rocket balloons? What is this game? Well, this challenge, to give you a bit of context, Kairos, you have to segment bases. Okay. That's how you take them down. 10 seconds. I appreciate the instruction, but I'm going for it, baby. You ready for this? So that gonna, is nice, a nice, lot. nice. Why did you send in so many balloons? And the minions behind, because you have to segment bases, is what I was saying, in order to get the three stars. So this teaches you to look at different avenues of the base and how can you take that section down most effectively. Don't forget to spread your minions at that top area as well. I would send the once the wizards get that air defense at six o'clock. That's actually where I would send my stone slammer because all of those defenses are tanked. Oh, never mind. Lean, come on, come on. Decent warden ability. So the highest percentage one star wins this challenge is it one try no two tries you know what i'm proud of that 77 wow you know what 78 percent. it's an interesting approach to go all a because the sweepers are going to be pointing at you on the other side so kairos did the smart thing on a by the town hall round at the other side this is interesting <laughs> full send the electro dragons let's go <laughs> oh no oh my gosh I'm gonna have to keep the freeze on the sweeper, but you don't want the E-Drag to chain that town hall. <laughs> I kinda do. <laughs> you wanna get it to one HP to build the suspense, <laughs> I like it. King's going through the wall. Uh-oh. Well, Kairos, you have smashed this so far. I mean, you were on 78%, right? He's got 16%. Oh, that's true, that's true. 66, not 69, I failed. To try and help OJ with that extra 3%, I gave him and Cairo some advice for the Electro Dragons. Namely, when you would just chain buildings on the outside, when you might want to support with a balloon if you're able to tank a defense. Okay, well, the challenge is up. Best of luck, my friend.
78% to beat your best. Remember, you want to spread the troops around in order for the percentage. Even if you leave defenses in the middle, the trash buildings on the outside will be easier to take down. So this is one of those scenarios, like if you miss the town hall and you're going for the highest percentage, or let's say you even get the town hall and you know you're not going to get the three star, you can bail out and just go for the highest percentage. And a lot of the time that is forgetting about the defenses in the middle because you're going into damage and just spreading your troops around the base in order to get the highest percentage. Oh, you're raging the queen, Kairos, no! You're oh, worried about I, I didn't even automatically use- Automatically and you're going, oh, she went down! Oh, you used the warden ability! Oh, I killed the in the town hall! I killed the town hall! <laughs> oh, no. What's intimidating is that you still got 78% the first try, so you're still in the lead. You know what? I did take out the town hall, but I'm pretty happy with that attack. 88%, yeah. baby. Oh, he's in. Let's see what happens here. He is using your, your electro drag strategy that he suggested. I don't know what's going on. I'm full sending everything. You could have got that archer tower with a balloon at 2 o'clock. I didn't realize you were going from the bottom area already. This might be tough. 78 to beat. RC taking a lot of damage. I take no damage. Nice warden ability. I have the barbarians from the king as well moving through. And then just rage those E dragons again, I would. Get that damage area down. I don't think they're going to get the town hall, which is obviously good, but they should chain through the other area. Oh, you got a little bit unfortunate on the E dragon to the left, not chaining through to that air defense. Oh, you're getting really close. Nearly. 75. 75. <laughs> Wait, I still have a minion. I don't think you can send it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You found the one. 76%. <laughs> Two okay. to one. So moving into the 1v1, OJ won the challenges. You can choose to attack first or second, which I think I know the answer. And you can ban a troop and spell. Does he ban it for everybody or just me? Just you, it's one attack. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so it comes down to this. We both get to attack each other one time and whoever wins this 1v1 wins the $1,000. You got it. That's oh. exactly how it works, so. Okay, OJ, what, do, what are you banning? I'm banning Rage and Golems. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Wow, I don't even know how to do this. Now you're both Town Hall 15s being on the dev build. Do you need a quick rundown of anything? No, I don't. I'm ready to do this. I'm going to smoke him. Remember, you do need the Town Hall for this challenge. Take everything that you've learned in this video, channel it, and take the win, Kairos. Here we go. You guys ready for this? I have no idea how this is going to go. The one thing I will say is have your Grand Warden on air mode. So he's on air mode. So he'll fly. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh my. You're going straight into the town hall. You have a rage? I, I have from the clan castle, yeah. It's in the clan castle. That's acceptable. I'll take... I'll, I'll, I'll allow this. You just need that warden ability timing. Okay, get that other invis tower triggered. Come on. I would use that rage spell, Kairos. I would use that rage in the freeze. Oh, your your barbarian king dies to my inferno tower. Okay. You're about to get the town no, hall. You're no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. And he burst the lava pups at the same time. Oh. Right, you've got to be super cautious with those minions. Eagles activated. Oh my goodness. 48%. He's got a minute. He's got a one minute. Don't send them in all together because the eagle will one shot like all of them. 49. Okay. One more. And it oh forces the two star from OJ. <laughs> oh. Ooh. See, that was challenge number Dude. two. Don't spam all the troops in in one go. So, okay. Two star 50%. Wow, Just I can't believe you got 50. It. So you've got to do better than that. And I don't get to ban anything for you because I lost, right? You lost those three challenges. But like I said, it all comes down to this 1v1. So if I save my, my town hall, then I'm golden. You are. Okay. But the reason I wanted to do a 1v1 at the end as well is the Superverse. It's going to be highly competitive when we do the Galaxy Battle Superverse event. So you need to be able to handle that pressure. Man, we have to be good in Clash Royale, Clash Clans, and brawl stars he's in i i my whole goal here is just to protect the town hall he's just creating the funnel for his e-drag don't panic you gotta segment the base this is perfect training well, don't, don't segment OJ. the base oj <laughs> don't segment the base i will segment what i want <laughs> oh dude they're okay. totally going right for the yep. town hall 
They are, but there's two invisibility spell towers. Kairos, have faith. Oh, oh. OJ closing in. They activate. <laughs> they all go over the they town They went right over the town hall. <laughs> right over the town hall. What? And right around the town hall. There's no shot. I'm just staring at the town hall, watching if anything's attacking it. Oh, the phoenix, phoenix, and the queen oh, is going to get the it. Queen. Oh, no. No. Oh, the queen! No! Oh, my God! I'm 69! Wow, OJ. Wow, okay. Take a bow, my friend. $1,000. I will send you that personally. Well done. And thank you both for taking part in this challenge. <laughs> you know what? For having not played Clash of Clans in like seven years, going up against OJ who plays every day, I'm pretty happy with that. That was really fun. I, I really appreciate you putting this together, Judo. I know that the $1,000 was out of your pocket and it wasn't from Samsung. So this was just a really fun challenge altogether. The Superverse is going to be super exciting. All of the links are in the description for the Galaxy Battle Superverse event and to purchase these devices as well. If you do want to check out Kairos or OJ's video, I'll pop them both on the screen for you right here once they are live as they will be training me in Brawl Stars and Clash Royale. Thanks again, guys.